Today, I'm gonna to be going over my top five gift ideas for civil structural engineers, just in time for the holidays. Gift idea number one is a book. Bored. Now hear me out, it's not a technical book or a really technical book. It's actually a book on tall buildings. It's titled Arup's Tall Buildings in Asia. So Arup is an engineering company and they've actually designed a lot of these buildings. And what's cool about it is they go through some of the challenges, whether it's a lot of it's structural, but there's also some uh, environmental, sometimes architectural, and some construction challenges. What I really liked about this book is that it wasn't all technical. It kind of just highlighted some of the methods that they use to analyze these buildings and how they came those challenges, whether it be engineering, different construction methods, using BIM, or a combination of all three. So let's give you a preview of some of these pages to see what I'm talking about. As you can see on this page, there are a lot of pictures and what's cool about it is it kind of shows you all the structural systems. So here they have the core walls, the mega columns with belt truss in the second frame and hybrid outrigger systems. This is something that you know, you don't really see too much in structural engineering books, but what's really cool is that these are kind of the real life applications of these and how these were actually implemented in the real world. And this really takes me back to, you know, I think when I was still a kid or I was in high school, I just remember watching the Discovery Channel and kind of seeing these structures being built and the challenges that they face to actually design buildings like these and the challenges that they, that they have to overcome. And as you can see in this picture, this is the famous CCTV building in China, I believe. And it even goes through the construction methods on how they went through this. So things like that, the challenges that they went through on these different types of projects. And again, they go a lot through all these gravity columns, mega columns, these different types of structural systems for these uh, really tall high rises in these buildings and the out of the box ideas that they come up with to to solve these problems. They have different sections such as some of these environmental problems that they faced and they also have BIM solutions. This is showcasing some of the BIM models and how they used it on a large scale project like this and how they coordinated with MEP and the, the contractors to, to really show you how a coordinated BIM model can, can go. So I think it's a great gift for any structural engineer just because there's not too many books like this that aren't too technical. It has lots of pictures and definitely a state of the art buildings that they've been designing. And it's a structural design of tall buildings. I mean, who hasn't wondered about how these buildings are engineered, especially if you're a structural engineer. For all these gift ideas that I'm going to mention, I'll put a link in the description below. Gift idea number two is the Death Star Owner's Technical Manual. What the hell is that on the list? Couple reasons. First reason, I'm a big Star Wars fan. Second reason, well, it's one of the few films that actually mentions structural engineers. So in the Star Wars film, Rogue One, you know when they were looking for the Death Star plans and how to blow it up? There was this one scene where the droid K2SO was looking for the plans. And this is when they're in a whole battle about the droids and everyone's firing at each other with their blasters. He's looking through the computer panels and then he finally finds it. Then he says, structural engineering, open that. Pew pew. Structural engineering, open that. And as someone that practices structural engineering, that was a really cool moment. It acknowledged that structural engineers are in the Star Wars universe and that the structural plans that they made helped blow up the Death Star and save the galaxy. But I thought this was a fun book because it kind of shows you all the, the blueprints and, and you can look through the books, see what the plans for the Death Star are and you know, similar to a building, you mechanical, is all over the place, getting in the way of all the, the structural elements. So that's pretty typical, even for the Death Star. But I thought this was a cool gift idea, especially if that engineer is a Star Wars fan. The third gift idea are engineering construction kits. These are kind of like Lego construction kits, but with an emphasis on the engineering part. I was able to find two of these. One is the Thames and Cosmo structural engineering kit, and the other one is the and Gino discovering stem construction kit. You can build different types of structures with these such as a bridge, a truss bridge, a suspension cable bridge, a house, or a skyscraper. These models looked really cool just because they look like a good way for kids to get engaged in engineering. I know a lot of civil and structural engineers grew up 
with Legos and building things like that. So these look really cool just because they do emphasize a lot more of the structural elements. So it's a great gift for your kids or just build it yourself and put it on your desk. Gift idea number four is a Logitech G600 mouse. So I personally own this mouse. It basically has a crap load of buttons. I think it has around 20 different programmable uh, buttons the way you can set it up and they're all customizable. So I'm on the computer a lot and I have a lot of softwares, especially Bluebeam that I use a lot of shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts that basically I can program into this. And it does take some getting used to. This is basically on your thumb, but give it a week and you'll see how much faster you are, especially in programs such as Bluebeam where it allows you to do a lot of uh, shortcuts. Okay, I got Bluebeam open and here's a picture of the mouse and these are the buttons that I was talking about that are fully customizable. And I rely on the custom tool chest. You can uh, Google that, find tutorials online, but it, for me, that's what I rely on to program these customizable buttons that I have here. Again, these are customizable, so what I'm gonna be showing you is just the way I do it. Obviously, if you find a better way that works for you, uh, go ahead and do that, but this is just to give you some ideas. So for example, these top three buttons for me are my blue markups, blue colored markups. So if I do G11, that's my blue pen. G14 right here is going to be my text box and this G17 is going to be my call outs. And I end up doing the same thing for the rest of the buttons, the same concept. These middle ones are going to be my green markups and these red ones are going to, or the bottom ones are gonna be my red markups. This is really helpful if you work in a design firm that has different uh, color coding systems um, for what you're marking up. So for example, for me, blue means uh, this is something that the draft this is something uh, like a note for the drafter. Uh, this green one means delete, that means delete it. And if I have any red markups, like a line, that means to pick it up, to draft it in Revit or CAD. And same concept, like this one, I like to set that to um, my text box. And I, this row I like to send to my, my call outs. So to put this into practice, this is what I typically end up using a lot for. We have some plan markups and let's say I'm just reviewing these drawings. Oh, this isn't going to be six feet, you know, delete that six feet. I actually want you to say, let's change that to seven feet. And then I can just put a comment, make sure to pick these up. If you're interested in that, it's definitely worth a shot. I think it's only like 20 or 30 bucks right now. And as you can see, it could potentially save you a lot of clicking time. I'll post that in the description below. Idea number five is civil engineering t-shirts. I was able to find a couple good ones online, but these two are my favorite. All right, the first one is this shirt. What part of don't you understand? Remember when I was first starting out as an engineer, I didn't know what the hell this was. Like there were just a bunch of lines and I didn't even know what I was looking at. And to me, I, <laughs> this looks like a wall, like a, a sheer wall, concrete sheer wall with opening reinforcement. So <laughs> I hope I'm right. I see the footings there. So even I hope I'm looking at this right correctly. But yeah, it's funny because we're, we are, our drawings are a bunch of lines at times. And I do recall telling the contractors that at times, oh, it's in the drawings, it's right there, you don't see it? So this is probably, if they're more unexperienced, this is probably what they're going through and uh, a, a structural engineer is telling them to look at the drawings or it's on the drawings. The second one that I liked is uh, for bridges. This one I liked just because it kind of had like a vintage uh, blueprints for a, for a older arc bridge. I've always enjoyed looking at these uh, plans and if you've ever seen some very old plans where they've actually hand drawn them, it was crazy to see the, the, the amount of detail that goes into them and how they actually made plans for these types of structures way back in the day when they didn't have any computers. So I thought this was a really cool shirt for that reason. I'll post the links for those shirts down in the description below. And I know I said five gift ideas, but I'm gonna give you a bonus one. Bonus one, number six. I thought a really cool gift to give a structural engineer are some of those really old 
code books or those really old design books from the early 1900s or the or the mid 1900s i remember seeing some of those in someone's uh, bookshelf uh, a couple times and it was really interesting just to see how the code was written back then and how <laughs> how much simpler those code books were. I remember the, I think I saw an AISC manual back in the 1950s or something and it was like this thin. And then now you see the AISC manual now, it's it's like this and then you get the seismic one, then it's it's crazy how much the, the code has, has grown. So getting an old structural code book or structural design book, those are really interesting to see just because you get to appreciate what the industry had to work with back in those days and kind of just gives you a lot more appreciation for it uh, and appreciation for the structures that they've built back in those days like look at new york they they were building skyscrapers without computers without software and they didn't even have calculators so it's really really cool to see what they were working with back then i think the best place to find these are probably online ebay amazon or if you can find a, a place where they sell old books that'd be a good place to look too thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you have cool gift ideas for civil structural engineers post in the comments below if you're interested in any of these items that i've mentioned i put them i put the link in the description below if you use the links and you buy something i do get a small commission and that would help me support the channel but if you don't want to support the channel for any reason I put the, the names in there too, so you can just Google it yourself. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.